Hello and once again, good evening YouTube and welcome back to the Kamikaze Game channel. Last time on Kamikaze Game. Symphony number four! Four! This is the one with the four in it. Um, this was like December. <laughs> so, half a year ago, I went on to Declutter Store and we bought a bunch of things that I didn't know what they were going to be. I was going to do another one of those, but I, I, I found something else. While I was doing research for the next one of those videos, I came across this. Lot of 100 used assorted CDs. 100 used CDs for $30. $30? Isn't that like what I spent on the last video? And like, I think I spent more than $30 on the last video. This is just $30 for a hundred CDs, dude. Now, I, you may or may not know this, but in addition to being an absolute unhinged diecast collector, I am also, I also happen to be a completely unhinged CD collector. <laughs> And, and yeah, also, I have a lot of these still left. This is my album, by the way. Um, look in the description if you want one. I, I have, I have many. Please buy my CD. <laughs> That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that I've been buying CDs constantly. CDs, 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 and I really wish that I discovered this listing a long time ago. 100 random CDs. Mostly CDs you have actually heard of. How do you know that? What if I am a shut-in and I have not experienced popular culture in the past 30 years? I am just completely blissfully unaware of the state of music in 2021. The pictures should give you a good idea of what type of CDs might be in your box. Oh man, that's that's really reassuring, I gotta say. Very little duplication. I'm gonna hold you to that second sale. Sold as is, no returns are accepted. You're getting your 100 CDs and you're just gonna get it. If you buy multiple boxes of 100, you chances of getting duplicates increases. Why would you want to buy one 100 box of CDs? <laughs> Why? Why would you want to buy one? You're, you're you're expecting me to get two. You're expecting me to get three. I think I'm gonna get. I'm thinking I'm gonna get three. I've decided I'm gonna get three. And you'd be surprised at how many different people are selling things like this: hundred CD wholesale lot, two hundred fifty CD lot, assorted CDs music lot with one hundred different types of artists, all good mint condition. This one's only twenty. Twenty dollars for a hundred CDs. A lot of 40 random CDs, discs only, for $20. This one versus the 100 that are in mint condition. Wookiees don't burn. You are a poor seller. I kind of want to buy this. I really want to buy this and see what we're going to get. Because, like, we'll just we'll just look at the uh, image in the description. The, the, the images are really low quality. I cannot make up. I cannot make out anything. I see Mariah Carey right there. That says Mariah Carey. That's the only thing that I can make out in this entire image. Kelly Clarkson, there we go. I just wanna see <laughs> what they're gonna send me if I ask for 100 CDs. <laughs> so, I think we're gonna buy that. Total comes to 31.90. What was the amount of money that I spent in the last video? $33 free shipping. I think it was like 30, 36 something. Your order's in. Let's go. I have no idea what to expect other than CDs. This is, this is gonna be interesting. I think my plan right now is that any duplicate CDs that I get, I'm just gonna put into the July or the August giveaway, one of the two. Cause I mean, I, I got a lot of random CDs, you know, a lot of, a lot of CDs that I don't know would, if it would come in a wholesale CD lot. So I'm hoping that this is gonna expand my collection. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I can't wait to find out what 100 CDs I'm about to get. Speaking of, please buy mine. 
I have so many. You should get it by July 15th. Mm -hmm. I guess we now begin the waiting game. See you when it's here. Okay, it finally showed up. It's been a long time. I've needed to shave for, for a week, but I didn't want the continuity to be messed up. So here it is. Oh man, all right. I didn't bring a scissor, what am I doing? Okay, so like I said before, we're going to be doing a giveaway for all the CDs that I already have. And, I, and there's like a couple of things that I wanted to buy online while waiting for this to get here and I've been like, you know what? I'm getting a hundred CDs and oh, I should not need more CDs for a while after this. It, it, it sat in Illinois for like, for like five days and it's like, I don't know. But um, okay, let's, Come on, you can do it. I'm not gonna look. I don't. I, I. I want the first CD in this to be a complete surprise. Okay. Here we go. From the from the bottom left hand corner, what is the first CD in this? Tapestry Revisited, a tribute to Carol King, who. Ron Stewart's on here. He sings So Far Away. That must be a stained cover. Faith Hill. Bee Gees, Will You Love Me Tomorrow? Hello. Bee Gees on the CD. Okay, Tapestry Revisited. That's, um, that's a new one. And, and I love old CDs that have just the tree-destroying giant booklet. Let's get some explanation here. Words and music are all by Carol King, I'm guessing here. I don't know who Carol King is. I'm sorry. A very special thanks to Carol King for writing such timeless songs. Absolutely. I agree. I agree, considering I don't know who that is. All right, good start. Good start. It's a it's a compilation album. I hate compilation albums. I might just put that on the giveaway regardless. Next CD. Out of the Dark, Claudia Schmidt contains over 60 minutes of music, including new material from New Goodbyes, Old Hellos. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm a Little Cookie is the name of song number 17. Grandma's Hands, San Diego Serenade. Oh my goodness gracious. I regret paying $30 for this. Next CD. Bedtime Beethoven, Baby Genius, Soothe Your Precious Little One to Sleep. I am feeling ripped off on this day. Oh, look, it's Moonlight Sonata is the first song. Imagine that. No, symp no Symphony Number no. 5, though, which is unfortunate. Great for all ages, sure. Whatever you say. Next CD. Jesse McCartney! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Copyright 2002, Jesse McCartney. Oh my God. 2004, sorry. Yeah, I, I, this is the first one that I actually know a song. I know Beautiful Soul. That was huge for like a month. Next, Tommy Walker, The Pursuit of God. Songs for a thirsty soul. No, the thirst. Don't thirst over God, guys, please. There's an FBI anti-piracy warning. Oh. 2011, dude. They're still putting FBI warnings on music released in 2011. Kelly Clarkson Breakaway. There's some more music from 2004. Great. Well, at least I knew that. Pink. The Truth About Love. I, I like pink. I mean, not this iteration of pink, but... I, I, I like the concept of pink. Box Greatest Hits. That's right, guys. You, you've heard of ZZ Top's Greatest Hits? No. Box Greatest Hits. Give me a break, guys. You expect me to listen to that? 
Michael Smith. What a generic name. Go West, young man. 1990. These are all garbage scenes. Tracy Lawrence. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, these are all garbage, dude. Bennett Sings Ellington. She's got it bad, and that ain't good. Bright Lights Big City. Parental advisory sticker on this one, guys. This is a real one. This is a real one right here. Paul Scott Goodman first approached me by adapting my first novel for the stage some six years ago. We're just gonna not talk about that anymore. Carreras Domingo Pavarotti in concert. This is the biggest waste of $30 I have ever had in my life. Anna Netrebico Violetta Arias and Duets from Verde's La Traviata. The fucking listing said that it was stuff you would know. I don't know that. Oh, cool. Some British organ music. $30 for this. Christmas sing-along. No thank you. Some more... I don't even know if I can show you this cover. Some more in-theater music. It's all garbage. All of this is garbage. Grieg lyric pieces. Walter Grieza King. It's more fucking orchestra music. Freedom and Sacrifice. <laughs> it just says freedom and sacrifice. Except on this side it says meditation and mysticism. Hold on. Hold on. After intense childhood experiences of light and awareness, Kundalini was ordained as a Buddhist monk in the early 90s and has been engaged in a disciplined and joyful spiritual practice ever since. Oh my. Next. Frank Sinatra. Hey, at least it's some good old music. Take me out to the ball game. Are you kidding me right now? This is like Frank Sinatra B-sides is what this is. Oh, more orchestra music. More orchestra music. Dan Rose, Conversations. Fiber Optic Lover. <laughs> okay. The last song was finished the day before we went into the studio. It's good for me to work under pressure. Oh my. Look at these Chad lads just hanging out. Dan Rose. Conversations, if you say so. The International All-Stars All play Benny Goodman, Volume 2. Recorded live in Hamburg. I hate live albums, get this shit out of here. Walt Whitman presents Soul Children of Chicago, Reaching the Nations. Except all of this stuff is in a different language. So, <laughs> he's alive, that's good. Thank you from Walt Whitman. Giving praise to God our Father continues to bless us with favor and grace. To all the parents and staff of Soul Children of Chicago that have stuck with us over these are actual children. I, I know there were children on the back, but this is like is this is this kids bop for the hood. <laughs> Religious kids bop for the hood. Oh my god, dude. Ray Bryant Trio. Duke Ellington. John Lewis. Charlie Parker plays the complete Little Susie. My goodness. High fidelity. High fidelity, guys. I don't even know if you can... I need to get closer. Bare Naked Ladies, hey! An actual good album. What is this? I'll be that girl. Who needs sleep? Good point. Good point. All right. Actual music. We're making some progress. Good News for People Who Love Bad News by Modest Mouse. Oh, shit. 2004, dude. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're actually getting music now. Never mind. Menopause the Musical. We're just going to put that to the side and never touch it again. The Judy Garland Shows. Okay with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, because those are the only people who made music in the 1940s. We all know this. La Forza del Destino. 
highlights. <laughs> oh, this is another Verde. Great. Wonderful. I didn't pay enough attention in music appreciation class to care about that. Parade, the original Broadway cast recording. Who bought these live Broadway musical albums? Who actually in their right mind would pay to own something like this? I'm not gonna be able to give this stuff away on Twitter. Oh, finally. Okay, something I actually already own, but because this is one of the things that my mom had, so she got rid of the actual CD cases and they're just existing in a binder of CDs. But this is something that I actually own, dude. I can finally tell a story about this. I was like, how old was I when this came out? Two. I was two when this came out, so I've always had this in my life. And I used to just listen to Larger Than Life, like, all the fucking time. i just put the CD in, and then I'd just play that on repeat. Um, I don't really know any other song on that album except for I Want It That Way, and I actually hate that song, so never mind. Worst, worst Backstreet Boys song. 1995, Refused. Songs to the fan, songs to fan the flames of discontent. Oh, great. This trust will kill again. Is this, how have I never heard of this? This is, is this like Rage Against the Machine, except not Rage Against the Machine? The bait, the prey, the mice. Debate the method of demise. Debate your high. I'll lie beside you while you walk down and lay the beat beneath your bed. Beneath the dead. Oh man. Debate the method in your head. The chemical misanthropy saving you from blame. This is some extremely edgy stuff and I think I'm actually going to listen to it. This could be good. This could be cringe. We will never know until we listen. Rimsky Korsakov Poemis Symphoquis, Siphoniquis, Orchestrae Siphonicae, Durs, Dirige Par, Evgueni, Siletinov, whatever, I don't care, Spider Sala, The Memory of All That, A Celebration of Gershwin. Who is Gershwin? In the year of Ira Gershwin Centennial, Spider Saloff does a marvelous job presenting his lyrics and Brother George's eternally inventive melodies. I'll just, I'll just believe it at face value. Is that Hitler? Stravinsky, Oedipus Rex. This is all garbage. Okay, so I finally made our way through the first column We've got a grand total of, I think, two good CDs, one that I'm gonna listen to and decide if it's good or not, and Menopause the Musical. So we are, this is already an amazing $30 spent. I'm already very satisfied with my financial decisions on this day. So we're just gonna start putting these back into the box. And I'm probably going to take this to the free will place once I'm done with it, because all of this sucks. We're gonna keep the modest mouse. We're gonna keep the bare naked ladies. I'm gonna keep freedom and sacrifice because that I just have to. I just have to hear what that sounds like. God, it's all garbage. Isn't it? I think I'm gonna keep this because at least just give me a reason is decent. So, I'll also keep Kelly Clarkson because we need, oh, and Jesse McCartney. Okay, so we're actually keeping a lot. As it turns out, we are actually going to keep a lot. So out of the first column, so if there's 100 CDs, let's just say that there's 33 CDs in a column. Out of the first 33 CDs, I am keeping eight. Unless you count this, which I might actually, yeah, I'll keep it just because I want a full copy of that. So we have nine. Nine CDs that I've gotten out of this. So, so far, out of $30, I've spent $30 to get nine good CDs. Which is honestly not even that bad. That's, that's like $2 per CD, and we're only into the first column. Up next, Joss Crowban Noel. It's a religious CD. <laughs> it's all religious CDs. I love math. Tr turn math frustration into math fun. This is a CD-ROM. I think we have to play this for the channel. 
Okay, we're playing this for the channel. Rascal frat flats, me and my gang. Oh man, there's what hurts the most, my wish. That's just, mm. that is bringing back memories of like, fifth grade that I do not want to have. Sting, it's Sting, let's go. We're gonna keep Sting. I've decided we're keeping Sting. Leah Salonga in Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. Original international tour cast recording. It's, it's Broadway musical again, because it's only ever Broadway musicals. Oh, we got another baby CD. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, number one hit of a generation. Pacifiers and warm milk. Relaxation and sleep and positive stimulation are all vital in a child's early years. Time has shown that music can have a soothing effect and even stimulate creative thinking. This unique, unique compilation <laughs> includes music especially chosen for its positive effects and is a rewarding choice for you and your child. Copyright 2000, dude. Okay, sure. Clay Aiken, Merry Christmas with Love. Why do they all look the same? Why do all of these religious singer-songwriters all look the same? They all look identical. Harolyn Blackwell, Strange Hunt. Copyright 1994. December Songs, Genius Child. There are two tracks, except it's numbered 1 to 10 and 11 to 20. I'm gonna keep that, just, I, I, I have no idea what that's gonna sound like, but I'm gonna keep it. Oh, great. I always worried we'd get some Taylor Swift. I fucking hate Taylor Swift. R. Kelly! <laughs> it's R. Kelly, dude! 1993. When did the thing happen? I don't even know when the thing happened. Bump and grind. Ugh. Freak that body. I like the crotch on you. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna keep R. Kelly. <laughs> What's this? Oh dude! It's signed! <laughs> Look at this! It's a side album by some guy. Just to alarm us. Un dia especial. It's signed. Look at that. This is real. This is real. It's not gonna have the glossy effect when I pull it out, dude. This is actually signed by this guy. And I just randomly get it in a grab bag eBay sale. I have to keep this. I have to keep this. It's signed, dude. The Choir Visible new song. They're not very visible considering they're all blurry back there. New song. Who are you to me? Before the dawn, creator, praise you. I have to praise you like I should. Frank Sinatra Gold. I get a kick out of you. Don't worry about me. These are all very generic songs featuring stuff that you've never heard by Sinatra. I'm gonna keep Sinatra. I'm gonna keep one of these Sinatras at least. Fallout Boy, Infinity on High, what? Copyright 2007, what? Thanks for the memories is on here. Wow, I'm keeping that. It's like the only good Fallout Boy album. Tracy Chapman, New Beginning. Heaven's here on earth. At this point in my life, the rape of the world. This song is seven minutes and seven seconds long. Tracy Chapman. What a time to be alive. Lou Leo sings The Electric Poet. All songs arranged and performed by Lou Leo. 2000. All right, sounds good. I thought this was a corn album for a second. No, it's the Zach Mack Band. Zach Mack Band. Don't look down, they say. Cougar. One of the songs on this is called Cougar. All right. Dito, Life for Rent. It's an actual album. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna keep that. You know, just keep getting, just keep keeping the song, the albums that you know about. That way you keep more. This is, this is interesting. This reminds me of the Twilight Town and LSD Dream Emulator, the, the town at night. 
Jean, To See the Light. Be My Light, Be My Guide. It's a religious album. Never mind, I'm not keeping that. Mariah Carey. Just Mariah Carey. This must be Mariah Carey's debut album. 1990, what? Look at that. Look at that. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Gotta have Mariah Carey's debut album. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Finally, some 60s music that's actually good. The Great Pretender, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, He's Mine. Look at that. Keeping that. <laughs> the Lion King original motion picture soundtrack. There's no Phil Collins on this album. Get this shit out of here. I think I might have owned that on CD back when I was a kid, but like, I, I hated The Lion King, so I don't know why I would have owned that, but I'm pretty sure I did. Um, the Premier Collection Encore of Andrew Lloyd Webber. It's more Broadway garbage. Get this shit out of here. 1955, Your Hit Parade. Look at this, it's a compilation album. I hate those. Kokomo, The Naughty Lady of Shady Lane. Oh no. Moments to Remember, The Four Lads. Oh my god, dude. When was this released? 1989! So this is what people in 1989 thought was cool in 1955. I think I'm gonna keep that. I've decided I'm keeping that. Poene Mystique. Block Smetana Zemlinski Prokoviev. Suck. <laughs> Just suck. <laughs> suck. Okay. Well. I'm not gonna understand any language in that, so we're just gonna forget about it. Kathy Matea, walking away a winner. Maybe she's human. Oh my goodness gracious, is she, she thinks, so she's like living in a world of androids, and then like, she, she is like, you know, empathic to the android cause. Is this Detroit Become Human, the song? I'm not gonna keep that one. Rain showers, nature's rhythms. Discover nature's pure harmony with the soothing sounds of rain showers. The gentle sounds of nature create a restful environment and enhance complete relaxation. So someone took a microphone outside during a storm and recorded it and put it on a CD. Truly an astounding amount of effort was put into that. Celine Dion! The power of love. Oh no. Yeah, of course my heart is going to go on, is going to be on here. I actually like Celine Dion, so... I thought she was dead for a long time, but as it turns out, it was my heart that was dead. The best of movies. Oh no, it's the Mission Impossible theme. Kiss from a Rose from Batman Forever. Girl, You'll Be a Woman Soon from Pulp Fiction. Can You Feel the Love Tonight from Lion King. What is this compilation? Volume 1, Pulp Fiction, Mission Impossible. <sighs> I hate compilation albums. Romeo and Juliet, Tchaikovsky and Prokofiev. I just cannot avoid Tchaikovsky on this channel. We're not keeping that one. I don't care what's on there, I'm not keeping it. Oh look, it's another Baby Sleep album. How many of these Baby Sleep ones exist? Frank Patterson, Ireland's golden tenor. Is this also signed? Is this also signed? Look at that. Look at that. It's a signature. It's a gold sharpie, and it's not reflecting the same way that everything else on here is. So it's absolutely signed. I don't know who it's signed by, but that's absolutely a legitimate signature. I'm not keeping that, though. Uh, Vienna Master Series. I'm gonna stop even showing these, these ones that don't matter. 20 Family Christmas Favorites. Go away. Martha Wash featuring RuPaul. It's Raining Men, the sequel! Hang on a second! Hang on a second! Oh, dude! It's Raining Men, the sequel! What? The Weather Girls are back! Hang on a second! Look at this. Oh no, dude, it's just, it's just remixes. No, 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 how could you do this? How could you do this to me? It's just remixes of the same song, no. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. 
I thought I just got a legitimate Weather Girls album, but no, I'm keeping it. But it's, it's just remixes. Oh, my heart. My heart is broken on this day. The Four Seasons of Gourmet French Cuisine. Art de la Table. What? Four Seasons of Gourmet French Cuisine provides you with a multimedia cooking reference containing over 150 videos with preparation tips as well as hundreds of narrations and photographs. Choose from many recipes created by well-known chefs for Thuris Magazine one of the top-selling and most respected gourmet references in France. It's a PC CD-ROM of French cooking. Cooking with kamikaze French cuisines from 1998. System requirements. Four megabytes of RAM, eight megabytes recommended. Windows 95 or later, double speed CD, CD-ROM drive, mouse, sound blaster compatible sound card. We're keeping that. I am astounded <laughs> by what this is. The Sub Dudes, a Nunication. You'll be satisfied. Angel to me. Miss Love. Poverty. Fountains Flow. 1994. Sounds good. All right, so that's... Okay, so... This was a good column. This was a good column. That is a solid 11 CDs. That's... So 11 plus 9 is 20. I've almost gotten $1 out of every single one of the CDs I'm gonna keep. Man, the things that they made back in the 90s, back in the 90s, back when the computer craze was real. Do you think that if um, TikTok was invented like in 1995, there, there would be like a compilation CD-ROM of like the best TikToks of like 20, you know, of like the year 1999? I, I guarantee you that that would be a thing that exists. All right, we're getting in to the final column. The final column. I've been recording for 34 minutes. Dusty Springfield Heart and Soul. A collection of rarities featuring duets, soundtrack, and live recordings. It's a compilation album. I hate compilation albums. Perry Como invites you to dream along with me. Round and round. Where love will find a way, just give it time. Hope I, I hope I get a rat album in here. Etta James Love Songs. It's a compilation album. Tony Bennett, 16 most requested songs. Stranger in Paradise. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Hold on a second. Did, did Green Day rip off Tony Bennett? Who can I turn to when nobody needs me? I asked the same question. Larry Coral, Shining Hour. Is it another compilation album? Yes, yes it is. Last of the Brooklyn Cowboys, Arlo Guthrie. I think my grandma would like this CD. I think I'm gonna keep this one for my grandma. <laughs> Ray Lama Tang, Till the Sun Turns Black. Be Here Now. Three more days. You can bring me flowers. Cheryl Crow, finally. At long last, something I actually recognize. The cream of Clapton. I feel free. Sunshine of your love. Presence of the Lord. After midnight. Bell bottom blues. You know what? I should have I should have not gone into this thinking of what do I want. It should have been what do my what does my grandma want? Bengara Fever, 26 great tracks featuring the best of whatever that's called. It's a compilation album, go away. Gwen Stefani! <laughs> Gwen Stefani, look at these shots, dude. Hall of Mac Girls on here. Yep, 
I knew that this was how the one that Hollaback Girl was on. I have to keep that. I have to keep that. That is that is mine forever. The cathedrals. I've just started living. It says, look at that. There's a little note right there that says copied. Someone pirated this album. I just started living. 1989. Jesus. Barbara Streisand. In the modern era of the internet, Barbara Streisand is amazing. I have to, I have to keep this for the internet, um, for the internet, uh, canon. Baha, man! Who let the dogs out? You all bet! Baha, man! You're kidding me, dude. I am keeping that. You're kidding me. And you you got me fucked up if you think I'm not not keeping that. The smartest giant in town, performed by Imelda Staunton, Jim Carter, and Stephen Pacey. George wishes he wasn't the scruffiest giant in town. So one day, when he sees a new shop selling giant-sized clothes, he decides it's time for a new look with smart trousers, a smart shirt, stripy tie, and shiny shoes. George is a new giant. Someone's messaging me on Discord. I'm not keeping that. <laughs> Catholic clip art on CD-ROM. What? Whether it's a parish bulletin or a children's handout, give every publication a professional look with Catholic clip art. We're keeping that. The Prince of Egypt on CD. Featuring performances by boys to men. I never, I've never seen The Prince of Egypt, so I'm not keeping that. Susie Bogus voices in the wind. Very disappointed by this by this entire endeavor here. Like, I thought we'd be getting a whole lot of good stuff, but no. Another sympathy. What's this? Bible truths for Christian schools. Redemption, God's grand design. I have to keep at least one of these religious albums. Rod Stewart, oh my God, something good. Something finally good. Downtown Train. Young Turks is on here, hello. Best of the Gypsy Kings. It's in a different language. 1988. T.D. Jakes from the Potter's House. With the Potter's House Mass Choir. Mass Choirs are usually good, so... I believe that people who haven't been to church in 20 years need an update. The church has come out of the closet. We're throwing down in Jesus. What? We have assembled to hear the songs coming from the vessels that have been crafted by the awesome hand of God. Um, okay, but that second line, the church has come out of the closet, we're throwing down in Jesus. Okay, we're keeping that. The music of Casa Lama, featuring Ken Double at the console of the Wurlitzer Theater pipe organ. No. Red Hot Plus Dance. George Michael, Madonna, Sly and the Family Stone. George Michael has the three opening songs on here. None of them I have ever heard. Supernatural by Madonna. Wow. This is honestly one of the best compilation albums I've ever seen. I'm not keeping it, but it's good. Dancing with the Kinks. The very best of the Kinks. You really got me, Destroyer. Not interested. Said, Promise. Oh, this is an actual album. Cool. 1985. The Sweetest Taboo. Jezebel. Oh my god, dude. What is this? Susie Bogus again! We got double Susie Bogus tonight. Wow, dude. Music from The Great Gadsby. Parental Advisory. Gautier, oh. No Church in the Wind, Kanye West and Jay-Z featuring Frank Ocean and The Dream. My God, dude. Whatever. Sounds good. 
LaFranche, LaFrance and Chanson. I don't know, dude. Alan Jackson here in the real world. Ace of Hearts, blue butted woman chasing that neon rainbow. Oh, man. This was not a good column. You can tell by the stack continuing to increase that this was not a good column. Prayers of a ragamuffin. A ragamuffin man. Make me an instrument. Faith, hope, love. Oh, these religious, these religious bands are just the worst. Richard Marks. Oh, uh, right here waiting. There it is. Man, who would have guessed that Richard Marks would be the biggest twat to ever live? Who would have guessed it? Travis Tritt. Country Club. I'm gonna be somebody. Put some drive in your country. Look at this man. Look at this man. We're keeping that. All right, we're on to the final three CDs. These better be good. Bobby Darkin, Greatest Hits. Mac the Knife, Dream Lover. If I Were a Carpenter, Queen of the Hawk. What, when was this shit recorded? No, there, this, this is just a single, single square. It's not even an actual information thing. There's no copyright date on this anywhere. It says all rights reserved, but I don't see any copyright logo anywhere. So I, the only thing that I can assume that this is a, um, this is a bootleg greatest hits album and this stupid ass shit won't stay in the, in the slot. All right, next. Ganel Lynn Condy, you're already walking on water. Do you believe that Peter really walked on water? Absolutely, and you are also walking on water every day. All right, well this was quite the journey of a video, but we are on to the final CD of the case. What is the 100th? I wasn't counting, so. <laughs> so maybe it's less than 100, but what is the 100th album? The Time Life Treasury of Christmas, Christmas Spirit. <sighs> Copyright 1997. Okay, so in this box of 100 CDs, what am I actually going to keep? Well, I am going to keep this. Um, Backstreet Boys Millennium CD. I might put that on the giveaway. We're gonna keep Menopause the Musical. I think I'm gonna put that in the giveaway. Jesse McCartney, I'm keeping that. I'm absolutely keeping that. We've got Kelly Clarkson Breakaway. I think I'm gonna keep that. We got Pink, The Truth About Love. We got Freedom and Sacrifice. That's going in the giveaway. Bare Naked Ladies Stunt, here, like this is the only album in this entire thing that I actually wanted to get at some point, so we're one for 100 at this point. Um, we got Modest Mouse, and then there's Refused, the edgy, mid-90s, late to the party, anti-police CD, I'm sure. We're gonna, I'm gonna put that in and like listen to that. We got Sting, Brand New Day, that's gonna go in the giveaway. We've got Harolyn Blackwell. We're gonna listen to that. R. Kelly, that's going in the giveaway. Justo Lamas, the signed edition. We're keeping that, that's not going in the giveaway. Gold by Frank Sinatra, that's going in the My Grandma's pile. Uh, Fall Out Boy, Infinity on High, see? That was not, CD number two of what I actually wanted. Dito, Life for Rent, that's going in the giveaway. Mariah Carey's debut album, that, we're keeping that. We got The Platters, we're keeping that, absolutely. Third good album here. Celine Dion, we're keeping that. And the remixes for It's Raining Man. I'm so disappointed that this is not an actual Weather Girls album. I am hurt, absolutely hurt. I was gonna keep Travis Tripp just because, I mean, just look at that man. But we're gonna put that into the giveaway. Rod Stewart, that's going in my grandma pile. Richard Marks, we're keeping that. 
Baja boys. Baja men, sorry. Um, the TD Jakes thing. I'm going to put that in the giveaway, I've decided. Um, the Bible Truths. <laughs> that's going in the giveaway. Barbara Streisand, that's going in the giveaway. Gwen Stefani. Does anyone even remember who Gwen Stefani is? Eric Clapton, that's going in my grandma pile. Arlo Guthrie, I don't think I meant to save that one. That's going in that pile. Is that everything? Oh yeah, and the, um, the three CD-ROMs here. So we got Catholic clip art. I still am taken aback by that. French cuisine on CD-ROM from 1998. We are going to make a cooking with kamikaze video with 1998 cooking. And I love math. We're going to play that for the channel. All right. So that's everything I'm saving. Um, all of this stuff is going to the Goodwill place. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at the, at the Goodwill place's doorstep. And if they want it, they can have it. If they don't want it, well... <laughs> so I wasn't actually counting. One, two, three, four, thirty-two. So, I got 32 CDs out of this 100 CD box that I'm actually going to keep in some capacity. Which means that I spent less than a dollar on, on all of those. A little less than a dollar, like 97 cents, but like, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So, uh, yeah. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I was hoping there would be not so many stupid ass um, live albums, the recording of symphonies and all that garbage. I'm not that surprised about how many religious albums there were. Because that's an entire, you know, that's like a musical racket and like making religious music. But um, yeah, so in any case... That's the video. So we got a couple of good CDs out of this. I am going to listen to this as soon as this video is done recording because I'm just curious. I'm curious as to why this even exists. But in any case, that was an interesting video. I don't know if I'm going to do another one of these again. For $30, maybe I'll do one of these every year. I think that's what I'm going to do. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Comic Cause Games, and I will see you in whatever video I make next. Bye. So, I'm real fast, and the fact that you're a racer is a fiddle de doo. My mom says I l says let's all die here. <laughs> I don't understand why. I'm gonna take that package. Are we gonna take the package? <laughs> it's good for your health. Your legs will get stronger. We're cars! We don't have legs! <laughs> mm. Ooh woo!